Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to episode number 23 of FIFA Career Mode. And today, this could be the second last episode of the season. However, that would require us finishing in second place and getting automatic promotion, which is still not definite yet. We have two big games today, including Bari, who are top of the league. But let's head right into it straight away. It's Chesena, the first game. we, As you saw there, we promoted Alessio Gallo from the youth squad, a young attacking midfielder. He's going to be on the bench in this game. He might come on, he might not, but Chesena are not out of playoff contention either. And with just three games left in the league season, this is a massive game for both clubs. Here is our lineup. An interesting change in goal. We've got young Giacomo Mariani. And um, apart from that, it's as you would expect, apart from maybe you would expect Donnarumma rather than Artemani. But we've gone with Artemani alongside Caputo today. But yeah, Mariani gets the start. Let's see how the youngster does in his first game. Here is just Sainer's lineup. It's a 4-1-4-1, or maybe a 4-2-3-1, or even a 4-5-1 formation for them. But it looks like Jallo is a more attacking midfielder. And then they've got um, Wingers and the Striker. Um, and then they've got the back four and the keeper. But yeah, here is the start of the game. Let's get going. Chesena are coming forward with the first attack, and Cassia turns past Romagnoli and fires them one ahead and that's not how he wanted to start the game it's one we're one nil down after just five and minutes 40 the ball in was nice a good first touch and Mariani is beaten by Casilla or Cachia. I'm not sure how you say his name but he scored 14 goals in the league this season that's not bad but let's see if we can bounce back we need to, otherwise we could be falling out of contention for second place. But here, we're coming forward. It's Caputo who finds Artemani. Artemani plays through Caputo. Here's an opportunity. Caputo's in and he puts it away. A second goal in the game comes not too long after the first. It's Caputo who finds the back of the net. Good first touch to get it away from the other players. Not too heavy so the keeper can come and get it and then he fires it in. The keeper's not stopping that one. Nice finish from Caputo. It's 1-1. One, one. It's what we like to see. His 17th goal in the league this season as well. The, the um, golden boot's not off. Donnarumma currently leads with 19 as um, and then he's in third place behind Martinho from Bari, I do believe. See how, if he can keep going up a bit further. But now, here comes just saying a Jallo to Casilla, around to Coupiz, into Jallo, and he has wasted that effort, smacking it over the bar. And we get a bit lucky there. That was some good passing play. But now they've got a corner. Laribi whipping it in. Creco heads it away. That could have been dangerous for him, but he manages to get it. Castagnetti intercepts that. He finds Sacco. Can we get a goal just before the ref blows his whistle for half time? Artemani is played through. What can he do? He turns, but he gives the ball away, unfortunately, and that may well be half time. And yes, it is. 1 1 at the break. Goals from Caputo and Kachia um, mean that both sides currently equal at the moment. You can't really say who's been the better team. I think it's been quite even. But we'll see how this plays out in the second half and Capiz is getting in behind early on in this second half. He puts the cross in. It's well dealt with, but it comes back in and what a save that was by Mariani getting away. Sacco is on the floor. Mordini tries to put it back in. Sacco blocks. He's still up against Sacco. Sacco blocks the cross again. This time he can't get a deal. And then it's a good header. Mariani saves well. And now here we're coming away with it through Castagnetti. A nice pass to Lolo. He's coming forward. Still going here. He's up against Donkor. He's trying to go past him. He's out on the left. He turns back inside. Beats that dude. Still going. Now he finds Caputo. Caputo turns, opens up some space. The shot's on. But Fulignardi makes a good save 
for Chisena. But now we're coming forward again. Ardemagny through. Krekos in. He shoots it saved and cleared. If that was on his left foot, you'd think it probably would have been a goal. But now, here are Chisena on the 70-minute mark almost. Chiavoni into Vita. Over to Kupiz. Inside. Kone's there. Saved by Mariani. Well done by the youngster. Now, the corner to come in. They've actually had more shots than us in this game by four. Headed away. And Pertacone is going to get there. No, he lets it go out for a throw. But now, here we are. Ten minutes left. Unfortunately, Caputo is dispossessed. And it's launched forward. And it's a three-on-one, even a four-on-one if you count this man over on the right side. Here's Cupiz. Can Romagnoli stop it? He gets away from him. Gets the cross in. Rigione, And that's a goal. And Chisena take the lead. And with seven minutes to go, this could be a massive blow for our promotion hopes. And it's not looking good. Can we produce a miracle and get the three points now? Even a draw, we'd probably take it now. And we're coming forward right from kickoff. Sacco with the turn. Sacco puts it in. Donnarumma saved. Cleared a bit dangerously. But it's headed away again then. Now it's smacked up field again, and again, it's a three-on-one, and Romagnoli's on the wrong side of the field. Jallo is charging forward. He's got a man across. Romagnoli trying to block both options. In the end, Jallo shoots, and Romagnoli makes a very good block that just deflects it behind for a corner. Now Kupiz is going to take this corner. In it goes. Headed away. Donnarumma brings it down. Now Gallo. He finds Ardemagny. Ardemagny coming forward. We're almost into stoppage time here. He's still going. He stops now. He's coming inside. He finds Sacco. Sacco cuts it back. Caputo's there. It's a goal. And we equalize in stoppage time to make it 2-2. Sacco getting into the box, then cutting it back. And Caputo just puts it in at the near post. A accurate finish, and that's what was needed in that circuit. Oh, that was Navias. My mistake, Capu it wasn't Caputo, it was in fact Joao Navias who scored that goal. But unfortunately, there's not enough time for us to get a winner, but we'll take the point having to come from behind twice to get it. And getting it in the last minute makes it much more sweeter. But how will that impact on the league table? We had more possession, but they had more shots. Kiavari don't appear to have played in that section of results, which is, um, yeah, that just means they're playing on a different day. And as you can see there, three teams on 65 points. Frosinone, for some reason, are ahead of us, despite having a worse goal difference. And goal scored, and wins. So I don't know what's going on there. But Kiavari still have the game in hand, so they could go second place with a point. In that game and next up we have Bari that is a massive game but here we see Frosinone and Kiavari have both played Frosinone won Kiavari got a draw which um, le means that they must win their game today to get back into the playoffs the second last match of the season and we have the top of the league team how it's come down to this ridiculous if we get the win we should go second, provided Kiavari don't win. But then there was that thing with Frosinone, where we were behind them for some reason. Maybe that was to do with Kiavari being on the same points as well, but I'm not sure, really. As you saw the league table there, it's extremely close. Here is Bari's team. It's a 4-3-3. Martinho, as I might have mentioned in the last game is has is going for the golden boot alongside Donnarumma. Brienza is also a good a high rated right winger. I think he's like seventy five or something rated. So yeah, that's higher than all of the players on our team. But here is our lineup. Providel comes back in goal for no Laporto gets a start ahead of Romagnoli. Benacer starts ahead of Creco. But other than that, it's as you would expect. Can this team produce a massive victory? 
away from home against top of the league. It's going to be extremely difficult, but can we do it here? Busolato on the ball for them. He goes out to Brienza. Pascal's got a massive job today, and he can't stop him coming inside, and Kozak has made it 1-0 just nine and a three quarters minutes in. Brienza took it round. Pascal there played in Kozak. It was a nicely weighted pass, and Kozak manages to finish the ball past Providel, and that's us down by one just ten minutes into the game. But we're coming forward now. Caputo to Artemanyi. He turns his man nicely. He's into the box. He shoots. It's a goal. What a hit from Artemanyi. And in the 11th minute, no, in the 12th minute, we've equalised. Great stuff from our, um, well, we have three Italian strikers, but our big Italian striker, the former Avellino man, finds the back of the net. The Empoli fans up in their little section of the stadium are... Uh, very delighted with that as Artemani turns, smashes that in. It's a very powerful hit. Not much the keeper could do about it when he's that slow to react. But a great goal. That gets us back on level terms. Back into a much better position to get the win. 15th goal in the league for Artemani. He's still an outside shot. Actually, probably not. He'd need, he'd need like a hat trick and then another two goals in the final game or something ridiculous like that. That is for the golden boot is what I'm talking about there. But now we're coming forward again. The 20th minute. Ben Asser turning his man. Finding Pascal. Pascal, he shoots. It's in off the post. It's 2-1. And we've completed the turnaround within 10 minutes from going behind. How about that? We go over to celebrate with the substitutes. It's 2-1. It's Pascal, the captain, who fires us back into well, into the lead for the first time today. Benassir with a nice turn. Then slid in Pascal, who finishes the ball off the post. That's what we like to see from Manuel Pascal. And a real captain's goal, just because drags us back into the lead in a very important game. And we have absolutely pumped. He's only his second goal of the league season, but he is a wing back. So it's kind of to be expected. I don't think Sacco's actually scored a goal this season as anyway. But anyway, here we're coming forward again. Artemani looking to get played in. Is get does get played in. He takes it round Cassani. Here's a chance to make it three. He strikes the crossbar. Caputo's gonna go and get that. He heads it back inside. Here's Benasser. Can he find something? He turns nicely, but it's a good tackle by the, the um, defender. At least I think he's a defender. And they get it away. But now, just before half-time, they're looking to come forward. Benasser looking to get around his man. He turns back inside, lifts it. Navias with the header opportunity. But he put it straight at Mikai. And it was an easy save for him in the end. He manages to hold on to the ball. And now, looking, and now Bari are looking to pick up a goal on the edge of the at the very end of the first half Martinio looking to slide in Kozak Kozak goes to cross Pascal gets it away rather awkwardly it coming back towards Brienza but Pascal intercepts again here's Lolo is there time for us to get one more chance before half time Caputo receives it looks for Artemani but he can't win in the air goes over to Martinho and there is half time a 2-1 lead for us at the break against top of the league. This is just what we need. This puts us right back into contention for promotion. And with one game to go after this, it could leave us in a very decent opportunity, with, with a very decent opportunity to get promoted to the Serie A this season. But they kick off. Can we hold on? Adam Magny. To Benasser. Pascal's making that run. He receives the ball. He's getting into the box. Pascal, he turns. He takes a, takes it round a few people. Saved. He couldn't quite get his second of the game there, Pascal. And they're trying to bring it away. And he eventually does. And now and the, but we get another highlight. Or another chance. And the, Sacco's taken down in the box. And the ref must have thought that the um, Bari player got something on the ball there because he's given a corner and that almost could have been a penalty 
but we'll have the corner. Nonetheless, Pascal's going to whip it in. Towards Artem Magny, he flicks on, off, kind of off the line from that dude. The keeper's underneath it, he punches for some reason. Benacer's on it. He tries to turn, but he gets a sandwich between two of their players. And Tello, or Teo, brings it away. And now, here come Bari, it's Teo on the ball. Bringing it forward. He's still going. He finds Floro Flores, who's trying to get away from Fornazier. He does that well. Martinho rises higher than Sacco, but Providel makes an outstanding save, but he's near post. Lolo's struggling a bit with an injury. Brienza's going to whip this in. He actually is left-footed. Oh, it's off the crossbar. It's bouncing around, and it's kicked away. Caputo's after it. Can he take it past a few people? No, he can't. His flick hits that dude in the face, and here they come again. Galano looking to get past Pascal. Does get past Pascal. Puts the cross in. Morone has put that over. Hits the support post, but they're coming forward again. Four minutes left now. Floro Flores to Cassani into Importa, who's in. And he has completely messed up the finish. Maybe he must be a right-footed player, because on the left foot he went for... The finesse shot, but he's completely buggered it. And that means it's 2-1, and they're hopefully not long for us to withstand. We're almost into stoppage time. Here's Galano, gets the cross in. Floro Flores goes for the volley, but instead of trying to smash it, he tries to place it, and I don't think that was the greatest of ideas. Three minutes of stoppage time for us to try and withstand. It's launched upfield. It's headed on. Benna says in behind. It's a two-on-one. He spreads it. Caputo to win it, and he does. He seals the game against top of the league. We're going to win. It's a 3-1 victory, or at least it looks like a 3-1 victory. Caputo does get a goal today. That takes him to 18. And yes, what a brilliant performance. Benacer getting in behind just taps it across, and Caputo finishes past the onrushing keeper. Bari have already won the league, and you can see why in this game they've been they've played very well. But we have taken our chances better than they have. And Caputo with his 18th, he could one more goal and he's tied with Donnarumma for the golden boot. And there's still one game to go, but, but it looks like we've reached the end of this one. We're gonna park the bus. For the last whatever seconds there is. But there they are. They're gone. We get the win. The subs are absolutely delighted. You saw them running on the pitch there. It's a 3-1 victory. Although the margin was not a two... The um game was not a two-goal game. A very slight. And it was a breakaway goal at the end that sealed it from Caputo. But Pascal, who scored that second goal, what a goal it was. And that leaves us tied with Frosinone on 68 points. But unfortunately, we're still behind them for some reason. Chiavari yet to play on the 41st match day as well. So we don't know what they're doing. Unfortunately, we've suffered an injury. And it's Lolo, who's hyperextended his knee. And he's going to be out for three weeks. So that means he'll probably miss the playoffs if we don't if we don't achieve automatic promotion. But our final game of the season is against Turney. And if we have a look at the league table there, Chiavari managed to get the win, so that leaves them in second place and us in fourth, although it should be third. Turney are down in 19th on 40 points this season. That's 28 less than us. But we need to win against them and hope that Chiavari and Frosinone both don't win if it's going to continue to be like it is now and not put us ahead of Frosinone. A draw won't be enough unless Frosinone lose. So yeah, the, all the playoffs members are decided. It's just whether where they will finish that's yet to be decided. But that'll be it for today's episode. Make sure to join us next time for the last game of the league season. But until then, I'll have to say goodbye. And I'll see you next time. So, goodbye.